to add a new entity, click the add new entity button. The add new entity details window opens. Add the entity details. Click on OK button. Click here to add a child entity. To add a child entity, click this icon. To edit an entity, click this icon. To delete an entity, click this icon. To manage instance documents for an entity, click this icon. To import entities from previous year, click this link. To view currency and units, Click on the link currency and units. To activate a currency in instant XBRL, click the currency. Click on the link manage period. The period window opens. Click the read first step to filing link to know more about filing XBRL financial statements. Click the Frequently Asked Questions link for FAQs. Click the Help link for help. Click the video link to watch online video presentation. Click the About Us link to know about us. Click the Check for Updates link for software updates. Click the Quick Support link for technical support from us. Click the Database Settings link to save connection settings. Click the Backup link to save backup file. Click the Restore link to restore backup file. Click the Validate Instance Document link to validate document. Click the MCA XBRL eForms to view the forms. Click the Template 2012 link to save the instant XBRL template in Excel format. The application displays the financial information with the taxonomy list on the left side of the selected instance document in the XBRL format. On the right side, the data entry for the taxonomy element is done. To search a taxonomy element from the taxonomy list, enter the element name in the search text box. Click the Find button. Click the Filter button for more search options. Select the Find drop-down menu for more options. Information about taxonomy element. In the instance document, the taxonomy element is represented by various icons to describe itself. This icon indicates that the element is an abstract element in the instance document. This icon indicates that the element is a table. This icon indicates that the element is an axis. This icon indicates that the element is a member. This icon indicates that the element is for data entry. In other words, you can enter data in this element.
this icon indicates that the element is sum total of all the elements in the instance document. How to enter data in tables having single axis and explicit dimensions. Select the table from taxonomy list. Click the table details button. The table details window opens. Click add data columns button to add columns to the table. Select the classes of share capital from the drop down menu. Select your options. Click the show button. Data columns created. Click here to collapse all fields. Click here to expand all fields. Click here to increase width of fields. Click here to decrease width of fields. Click here to go to any particular column. Click here for any recommended columns. Click the close button. How to enter data in tables having multiple axes and explicit dimensions. Click the table details button. The table details window opens. Click add data columns button to add columns to the table. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Click the show button. Column created. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Select an item from the drop down menu. Select your options. Click the show button. Column created. How to enter data in tables having typed dimensions. Click the table details button. The table details window opens. Click add data columns button to add columns to the table. Select an item from the drop down menu. Click the add new button to add columns. Type your desired column name and press enter key. Click the add new button to add columns. Click the show button. Four columns created. Import from Excel for drag and drop data input. Click the button Excel tagging. Click the browse button. Select the Excel file. Click the open button. Drag and drop facility for easy tagging. The selected Excel field tab shows the details of the particular field. Click on the Financial Information tab. The details are updated in the Financial Information. For multiple year tagging, click on the button Excel Tagging. 
select the multiple year tagging button. Right click on the Excel column header to set the period. Select 1st April 2009 to 31st March 2010 menu item. Right click on the Excel column header to set the period. Select the 1st April 2010 to 31st March 2011 menu item. Drag and drop facility for easy tagging. Click on the financial information tab. The details are updated in the financial information. Specify currency multiply by and footnotes for each element. Select the amount for which you want to change the currency. Right click and in the drop down, select the currency type of your choice. Select the multiply by option of your choice. Select the footnotes menu item. Enter the footnote. Click the add from list of footnotes button. Click the submit button. Click the close button. To validate data, click on the button validate data. Click here to validate data as per the balance sheet. Click here to validate data as per the P&L statement. Preview XBRL document before finally generating it. To preview balance sheet and P&L statement, Click on the button Create Instance Document. Select the option Preview Balance Sheet. The preview is generated in XML format. To create an instance document, click on the option Create Instance Document. Select the option Create Balance Sheet. The Save Instance Document window opens up to save the instance document in XML format as per balance sheet. Click the Save button. The instance document is saved in XML format. Validate through MCA Validation Utility. Click the button MCA Validation. The MCA Validation Utility window opens. Click the button Launch XBRL Validation Tool. Select the Taxonomy menu. Select Taxonomy CNI 2011. Taxonomy has been successfully loaded. Click OK.